My name is Jill Martin, and we are here tonight at the 20th Annual Juried Show located at the Arts Factory on Charleston and Maine. Tonight uh, is what we call First Thursday. It's the night before First Friday, which is a big event out here in Las Vegas. Uh, we will be speaking to artists about their work. Uh, there will be several artists featured. So let's get started. The Las Vegas Contemporary Arts Center held its 20th annual juried show on February 5th. There were around 192 entries and 62 artists were featured at the gallery. The artwork included painting, photography, sculpture, and other artistic mediums. Well, my name is Peter Mingert and uh, this is my piece, my untitled piece, and uh, I pretty much improvise uh, these themes is through free association and and you know over time themes develop and I try to keep it open-ended and so there's like an implied narrative that the viewer finishes or creates themselves. It's, it's the first show I got into uh, and uh, I, I'm very pleased you know there's a lot of good artwork here I have a lot of friends who are uh, in the show as well, and I think it's a great show. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, my name is Wendy Quebec, and this is my painting from Roses to Rose. It's uh, oil and mixed media on canvas on board. I had been doing a series of images of women, so I, my work is really about representations of women and um, kind of representing things like desire and excess. Um, anxiety or fear possibly within you know a particular moment and culture and um, and then also starting to think about um, women how they're represented today in contemporary culture and in the media um, and looking at images of celebrity um, in, in particular I guess in that respect and uh, and in looking at a lot of those images I started to see um, kind of the, these um, this idea that women were being uh, conveyed as consumers, so they're either always represented as consuming things, as shoppers um, that need to consume beauty products or food, etc., or they're being consumed as, as images or kind of sexual bodies or beings. I, I make these images and for me they have kind of a certain psychology and hopefully they make the viewer think about lots of different things yes. and they might be, I mean, hopefully somewhat disturbing or thought-provoking and then also hopefully attractive as well. My name is Reagan Beltram and this is Excavation, Oil uh, Mixed Media. Tell us about your painting. What were you going for when you started this? Uh, going for depth just to get different layers. And these lines is to hold your eye into the painting. Hopefully something in here catches your eye. It's very interesting because you look at it and it's just this beautiful splash of color and then you get drawn into it and you realize there's lots of little details in there. Exactly, that. yeah, that's, it takes a while before you start to see them, and that's what I was after, exactly. Mixed media, which uh, this is oil, uh, and then uh, the paper with uh, watercolor. This is watercolor on the paper, and then the fossils is a polymer, like uh, just a hand-carved polymer, then sanded down, basically, is what that is. Welcome to the um, CAC, and um, I just want to talk a little bit about the CAC, and I, then I want to introduce um, Shana to you all, who did a wonderful job. She's just right over there. The award ceremony was held on March 5th. There were cash prizes for the top three entries, and seven artists would receive an honorable mention. The juror for the show was Shana Niestembro. I'm an art critic based in Los Angeles. I run the LA edition of FlavorPill.com and I'm also the features editor at The Magazine Los Angeles, which is a visual arts magazine. And I write for a bunch of uh, other art magazines freelance and I'm a curator and other things. So, um, I, I mean, I don't want to speak to Beata's intention, but my impression is that what she wanted to do for the 20th anniversary jury show was to bring someone in from the outside that's a very humbling thing to live up to for me. And I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't know anything about the Las Vegas art scene. I have a few 
friends who went to UNLV, I know it's a great program. Dave Hickey is someone that I respect, but I didn't know what I was going to see when I got here. She, and that's what she wanted. She wanted somebody without a familiarity so that the things could be judged on merit. But my first impression was, wow, this is smart and cosmopolitan and can absolutely hold its, the talent here can absolutely hold its own against the talent in, a, in any major art center. During the ceremony, Shanna walked everyone through the gallery and showed the seven honorable mentions before she revealed the winners to the show. It's op art, it's Bassarelli, but it's not derivative. It's somebody who's looked at what paint does to the, op the sort of optical dynamic of what happens when you look at something. The final moment had arrived, and Shanna awarded the third prize winner. Ayako Ono, the blue and white painting in the hallway. The negative space with the blue, the airport is, is the third. Second prize was awarded to Jorge Catoni for his work, V-Side. Basically, what I, what I love about um, audio, the best sort of audio video work is the embracing of the technology. It's not just you've made an image or a composition and then you animate it. It's something that really uses what the medium can do that's different from other visual forms. So that there's motion, there are juxtapositions, there are audio elements, and there's uh, sort of a cinema verite quality, then, then there's also an interpretive quality and a cinematic quality to it. And we watched it like three times in a row, and I just thought I could see this every day. And finally, first prize was awarded to Alexandria Bevilacqua for her painting, Concentration. That orange painting right there just absolutely breaks my heart. I think this is one of the most gorgeous paintings that I've ever seen in my life. It had nothing to do with the show, nothing to do with Las Vegas, nothing to do with anything. This is an absolutely arresting, complex, intelligent, modern, fresh, innovative, obsessive, well-executed, unforgettable piece of art, and I just love it. And it's the winner. My name is Alexandria Bevilacqua. This is my piece. It's called Concentration. My recent themes have been about freedom and um, you know, the, like what's happening to our freedoms here in America. Um, they're diminishing somewhat, you know, and um, it's really upset me. So I wanted to do a lot of work about that. And this piece in particular is about concentration camps that still exist here in America. Um, and I was also working with fairy tales and, you know, what we're told versus is it real, is it not, is it fiction? And um, so I was using the fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel, incorporated with the idea of concentration camps that still exist here and are still working. And um, yeah, pretty loaded stuff. So, <laughs> uh, and then I just, you know, I saw it in my head. I took some photos, I worked with photos and um, this is what it came up with. Uh, the, I started out with acrylic, and then on top of the acrylic, I worked with just oil. I love the CAC. It's like one of my very favorite galleries here in Las Vegas. And um, I was always like, God, I want to have a show there, but um, you know, I don't have like an immense amount of work yet. So I saw the jury show. I was like, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. And, you know, I, on a whim, I decided to do it. It's the first show I've ever entered a piece in, first gallery I've ever been shown in. Um, I wasn't expecting to win first place. I don't even know how much money I just won. <laughs> like, I have no idea. But um, I'm, I was really excited. I just walked up. I just got here, and she was over here talking about my piece, and I was like, wait, what, me? Wait, what? Did I win something? <laughs> And uh, it's awesome. I love it. It was a great experience.